Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so the other day I got this box in the mail and this box is full of brewery stuff. <laughs> and I know I've mentioned this before, but I definitely want to kind of branch this channel out into other arts. And yesterday was Sean's birthday, so I wasn't able to film yesterday. So I was looking for a video idea that would kind of take me a little bit less time. So I thought today would be the perfect day to try this stuff out. So we're gonna be doing some alcohol ink on these waterproof panels. So if you guys are interested in this, then continue watching. So when I got this box, I was, I was really surprised and I had no idea if I had like slept ordered a bunch of Brea Reese stuff, but then I found this card inside. So all this stuff came from Allison at Brea Reese and she is the creative coordinator slash artist in Portsmouth. And I'm just like, I'm kind of blown away. I thank you so much, Allison. This is literally the sweetest thing in the world. Um, and I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm so excited to dive into this stuff. I have never done this before. Actually, that was a lie. I did when I got this box. I tr I tried. Um, I'm not proud of this, and I'm really hoping that this video does not produce more pieces like this. I, I mean, you know, it is really cool, but it's just crazy. There's a lot going on in this. I learned a lot of lessons with this. I'm glad I tested this out before I did this video. Other than this, I've never done alcohol ink on like Yuppo paper, is that how you say it? or anything like this with the like waterproof panels. So I've got these waterproof panels and then I've also got these little acrylic shapes. There's some stars and hearts in this one. So as far as directions, I'm kind of just going off of what it says on the back of these waterproof panels. And it says apply alcohol ink and blending solution directly to surface from bottle. Distribute ink using a paintbrush, ink dauber, straw, foam roller, or mister. So I did grab a metal straw from home that we could use. And then I've also got one of my heat guns that has a setting that isn't super hot and it'll just kind of act as like a hair dryer. What I've also got is another camera angle so that you guys can see close up what I'm gonna be doing. I do kind of want to talk you guys through this and basically just have like a fun chill video where we play it with alcohol inks. Um, so yeah, you have this like really wonderful close up of my rainbow barf painting, um, but I'm gonna take that away and shield your eyes from that. <laughs> and we're gonna put a nice clear one, a new waterproof panel so that we can get started with some new inks. So I'm gonna be starting with pulling out the blending solution, which looks like this. And it's basically just like a clear liquid. It does say it's alcohol based. I'm nervous to get started. I'm always nervous to start like new things. So anyway, I'm gonna take my straw. I think I'm gonna try this first. Um, so we're gonna be dripping some ink and then I think some of the solution, the blending solution, and then we're gonna blow it around with our straw, see how that works. Okay, so I've kind of lowered you so that you guys are like, I level with me while I bend over and do this. So I'm gonna take my bread and we're gonna get started. Oh, I'm gonna start with just one. Oh my God, okay, 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 it's going everywhere. Okay, <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I literally don't know. That definitely doesn't look like a flower. What if I do some blending solution first and then... Whoa. All right, we're, we're definitely not making roses here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just make a really pretty painting, I guess. All right, so I definitely made another rainbow barf piece, um, but I think it is getting better. Like, I think I'm getting better. Um, I feel like you can tell that this one was like my first try at this. 
it just seems a little bit more messy. Um, but this one, it, I feel like you can also tell that uh, this one is my second try at it. So I think I just have to let go of the idea that I'm gonna be able to do that flower effect right off the bat. So, okay, so I have one more panel to try this with. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is go right across. I've seen a lot of paintings like this where they kind of go across the very center. I think I'm going to drip some of this blending solution across first. Okay, right? That's kind of pretty. That's a great third try, right? I feel like I'm getting I'm getting somewhere. That's really pretty to me. I mean, I will say the people that do this, kudos, like so much kudos <laughs> to you because this is really hard. I for some reason thought this was going to be easier but it's not, it's really hard to get it to do what you want it to do, obviously. Um, I haven't like researched this a ton, so, but I have seen people do it like on Instagram and stuff and it's, it's hard, so kudos to you if you do this. This is, I mean, I've seen some incredible work um, from stuff like this, so I feel like you guys deserve some kudos because <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. Um, so this is what my third is looking like. I kind of love it. I think it's really, really pretty. Again, the gold just makes it, just makes it perfect. I wish I had like the foresight to use all three of these panels to make like a three set that kind of connected to each other, um, but I didn't. I love, the, okay, so I'm falling in love. I'm falling in love. I just am. I'm falling in love with this third one. Dude, my progression from uh, the first one, like this is, this to this one I mean okay so I think I'm gonna take some of these um, little shapes like the stars and the hearts here and I'm gonna try to do something with those as well these are actually like little acrylic shapes so they're kind of like a plastic I'm gonna try this the directions on the back of these acrylic shapes is the same just says to apply ink and then blending solution Okay, so this is what one little heart looks like. That's kind of pretty. It is weird to use these like little acrylic shapes because I feel like it takes a while for it to dry and I realize I'm probably not doing it right. That's pretty, right? I don't know, I feel like that's pretty. Okay, so now that I've literally exhausted like everything that they sent me, um, I'm gonna give you guys like a rundown of everything that I made and like what how many tries it was. So this one was my very first try, like ever. 
This one was my second try, which I'm, I'm like obsessed with it. I think it's super, super pretty. This one is my third try and it is my pride and joy. <laughs> like I, I like stop, look at that. That's so pretty. Don't look at my fingers, oh my God. And then we've got some acrylic shapes. So we've got these two hearts, a pink one and like a purpley blue green one both with gold. Oh my God, these are so pretty. These would actually be really cute if you like drilled into these. I wonder if you could without cracking it, but if you could drill into these and put them on like a little mini Christmas tree, I feel like that would be really, really pretty. Then we've got these two stars, which I just dipped into ink that was on my mat and dried it. That's literally it. Super, super pretty. I love them. And then we've also got a heart that I did that same thing with, where I just kind of dipped it in dried it and voila, super pretty. I think I'm gonna have to find some kind of like frames or something to put these in because I love them. I love how they came out. This is actually super fun. I love any art that like gets your hands crazy messy. Um, but yeah, I loved this. Again, thank you so much to Allison for sending me all this stuff. This was so fun and I'm 100% gonna keep trying and I'm gonna try to get better at this because it was so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much for allowing me to do something that isn't resin related. I'm actually, I'm pretty nervous to post this um, and not have a resin video go up. I mean, it's still an art video, which is what I wanna be doing with this channel anyway, to kind of like branch out and do different stuff. But it is kind of scary to not have a resin video this week. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that if you've never tried this before, maybe it inspired you to go out and try it. It's super fun. I feel like, again, it's like the possibilities are endless. Kind of like what I say with resin. I just feel like you could come up with so many different designs and like, it, this is super fun. So I definitely highly recommend trying this for yourself. And I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Seriously, thank you so much. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> with my insane fingers, goodbye. Okay, 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 okay. Just not from that. Breweries, um, how do I say this? Creative cordon, coordinator, coordinator. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Ta da! Da 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 da!